Hi everyone, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail once again with my latest mini. This is a trade mini that's going to Nikki, and this is for Trade Wind Scrappers, which is at on the Scrap Beach, um, which is an online scrapbooking community put together by Catherine. It's relatively new, but is like one of the hottest places out there. And we started doing swaps this month. As I said, this one's going to Nikki. And Nikki lives in Liverpool, England, and she loves music. Hmm. My little brain immediately went to the Beatles. So this book, this mini book is inspired by the music of the Beatles. So the title of this book is All You Need Is Love. All of the pages are inspired by Beatles love songs. When I was in elementary school, I listened to a lot of Beatles songs at high volume because my brother was six years older, so he was a teenager at the time and really liked the Beatles. So I remember listening to a lot of those. So this paper is a memory box, six by six group of paper that I've had for a little while and it just seemed to be fitting with the era. It has a real 60s, 70s mod kind of feel. So I decided to use that. I also went on a little bit of a departure with this one from my norm. I didn't use any um, inking of the edges and kind of turning it vintage. My daughter went, you're not making it look old. So uh, I didn't ink any edges. I kept it very crisp and clean and used um, real graphic shapes, lots of circles and squares and rectangles. It just kind of fit with the era that I was trying to create. So this one is based on the song Love Me Do. Then we move over here to Ticket to Ride. I don't have a lot of extra embellishments either. I wanted to keep it a very clean, kind of crisp look. So here, this is a round shape page. Then over here we have I Want to Hold Your Hand. And this one I used a CD, a blank CD, that had kind of that turquoise color. And it flips up to put some photos. And it closes with a little magnet, so it goes right into shape there. Up again, that, that paper is just so cool. Now this page has an envelope pocket that I designed. And there's another little tag up here. And I actually designed this, let me show you. I actually designed this while I was sitting at a construction stop. Um, they had stopped the traffic. There was some road construction and they had strop, stopped the traffic for about 10 minutes. And so, of course, my brain doesn't shut down even though I'm just sitting there. So using just some an envelope that I had in the car and, a, of course, a Michael's receipt, I designed this envelope the way that so it'll hold... Uh, make a couple of pockets for a multiple for multiple tags. So I'll do a, a tutorial on that um, sometime later this week. So I have three tags on this side for my let it be pocket. And then on this side, you can put a photo and there's another tag that fits in the pocket on this side. So fun pocket. I've used it a couple times now and it works out really great. Um, here we have all my loving and these circles are not attached down all the way so a picture can slip in underneath those it what was funny as while I was working on this is um, all these songs would run through my head and I do admit I did sing a couple of them and well the chihuahua left the room so I won't stop my, uh, quit my day job anyway here here is here comes the Sun and it was a dual kind of page that went with Good Day Sunshine. So, put some photo there, some uh, journaling here. Here's Yesterday, which was my favorite Beatles song. So that one's got a tag, back side. And I used black chipboard um, for, the, for the body of it, and then I used some black envelopes both for my multiple tag uh, envelope page, and also this is just cutting one of those. This one's called Come Together. As you can see, I tried to go for a real crisp and clean look. She loves you, and I wrote, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, I won't try to sing it. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll, I won't do that to you. Um, what was also funny as well, I was working on this the other day. Oprah had a show on about things from the 60s, and it was like a trip down nostalgia lane from my young childhood. So, yes, I'm that old. It's kind of scary. It's pretty scary when things from your childhood are now vintage or antique. When did that happen? Anyway, uh, another one of those pages where it's got the multiple tags. Well, this one's got a square tag up here. And that's the song, Ain't She Sweet? And here's the back side. Put a photo there and another tag. See the tag, there you go. Get that in frame. And then the last page, In My Life, has a tag and a journaling spot that goes underneath. Real simple album, but it was a lot of fun to work on. Here's the back, and it says, This mini album was inspired by the music of the Beatles. I have a new little tag that I'm going to put on the back of all the minis that I do in trades. It's called Handmade Especially for Nikki, Trade Win Scrapper, September 2009 by Laura Dennison. So, big departure. Real simple look. It looked really naked, so I had to put at least a little bit of ribbons. Give me something to pet, too, while I'm doing the video. I think it's hysterical to watch how I tend to pet the, uh, the albums. But, again, a lot of fun. Real simple really going up for a little bit of a departure and I always think creatively that's a good idea to do that because um, you never know what could potentially be just a, a minor detour could also turn into a whole new direction and maybe um, where you want to go creatively but this was fun it was different I'm on to my next um, trade mini I have three of them this month what was I thinking so anyway you'll see those coming up and I'll also do a tutorial for my multi-tag pocket page and uh, we'll be talking with you again soon. Thanks for watching.